That's our final. We'll be back in just a moment on Pro-Am Sports. This week, Michigan beats Illinois 69-13. to A uh, blowout I think you probably didn't expect. Well, in every case, when you get uh, 50 or more points, Jim, you can rest assured that much of it was contributed by the opposition making mistakes. Uh, that happened to Illinois by dropping a snap from center on the punt, having a punt blocked, uh, interceptions, fumbles. Uh, when they turn the ball over a lot, there's always the chance that you're going to run You didn't the expect score. that, though, from them, did you? You thought probably well, this would be I thought it would be one. a pretty close game. Their defense had been playing well, and offensively, you always worry about a team that's capable of throwing the ball like they are. They must have surprised you earlier the way they ran the ball because they are known as a short passing team, possession passing team. Jim, that was their strategy. They switched uh, Keith Jones, the big tail, uh, fullback to tailback and put Markland in there as about 240 pound fullback. Both of them are excellent backs. I was particularly impressed with Jones. Uh, I think he's got tremendous ability. This is Markland here, the great big fullback getting up in there. Uh, that's unlike Illinois. You go to two tight ends and run. Here they are again. Two tight end formation. This time they roll out and hit a pass into the flat. Uh, but um, uh, that was their new uh, strategy coming in. But uh, unfortunately, once we got up by two touchdowns, you know, that kind of goes out the window. Here's a long field goal by uh, Illinois that gets them on the scoreboard first, and they lead three to nothing. And talking about keeping it on the ground, that was your strategy also, it appeared. Well, uh, yes, we felt we could run on them. Actually, uh, we felt the strength of their defense was their secondary, because they're used to playing against a lot of pass offenses. Uh, however, we threw the ball very effectively. Not a lot, but very effectively. Here's an outcut. Uh, to Greg McMurtry for the first time. He makes a very fine catch with a defensive back over his shoulder. Um, we give, Jim gives to the fullback on the option series uh, for a good uh, game. We come up with a critical third and nine situation on this drive, and Jim does a great job getting the ball to Higgins for a first down. That's the way you want to throw. You don't necessarily want to throw it a lot, but you want to make each pass count. Well, I want to throw more than we threw in this game, but uh, really, uh, the way it went, the turnovers were so great that we got the ball with great field position. Jim runs in on the option play, standing up to give us a 7-3 lead here, Jim. But we, we felt uh, we wanted to establish the run first. We were going to use some a short passing game, but uh, actually they gave us a little bit more than we anticipated. This is the shovel pass. I hate to see this shovel go on. <laughs> Tried to run it myself. Have never been successful, and everybody runs it against me. Here's two tight ends again, and we had a missed defense. We had a linebacker blitz when he shouldn't have. Left a gaping hole in the defense, and they uh, got a big play. Third down, another missed assignment here on defense. Uh, we didn't contain the quarterback on the rollout. They ran in for a touchdown. Now, there are two very critical uh, missed assignments there that we cannot afford in a close ball game. And you say you're asking about that there, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> here's a, a here's drop the snap from center, and we get the ball at the 10-yard line. Unfortunately, we come up a yard short of the first down uh, right at the goal line, and uh, we have to go for the field goal. Uh, felt we ought to... Um, uh, get on the board here with a field goal to tie the score. But the score 10-10 and them stopping you, at this point you had to be wondering about what was happening. No. I felt we could move the football on this team. I'm waiting for our defense to tighten up, which they did there, and stop the shovel pass. What Jim. was the adjustment that was made? After their first two series, they didn't do anything. Uh, we were always worried about them rolling out on us, and we had to get that out of our system and start stopping the run. Here Jim comes on a post cut and a great catch by McMurtry. Uh, the big play in that drive was, of course, that post cut, which got us down in the scoring position. A lot of option against them. Right. Fourth and one, give to the fullback who goes down to the goal line, uh, Bob Perriman, and then uh, Bob goes up over top for the touchdown. Did you know that the option wouldn't work against this yes. team? Yes, we did. We felt we'd be able to option them. And, you know, it's a matter of how much you want to use it. You don't want to, you know, we're not a completely wishbone team. We just go in and out of it use it when we you know think it'll be effective for us and how did you know that the long ball was going to be there well we got you know we, we used some counter action here and got the safety frozen again so you're one-on-one -on -one and paul runs by the corner and jim puts the ball right on the money and we go up 24 to 10. and that's the way you want to pass effectively right well right i mean if you know if it's there take it here's a pass that ought to be intercepted it was, it was hit just as he threw it and uh, Garland Rivers picks it up off for us, and we're back in business. Uh, Jim comes right back here and 
Fitz McMurtry um, crossing pattern is knocked out of bounds. We get stopped here and go for the field goal. And um, Mike Gillette kicks a long field goal here to give us a 20 to 7 to 10 lead. Uh, 52 yarder to be exact. At that point, there wasn't much time left in the half, but Illinois does get a yes, we get back. a we get a face mask penalty, a 15 yard face mask penalty that gives them an opportunity to kick a field goal. This upset me no end <laughs> um, because I didn't want them to get on the board uh, by the half. But we're going at halftime, leading by 14 points, Jim. At 27-13 and a half, that field goal at the time, that was big because that kind of kept them in the game. Were gave you... them a little, you know, gave them a little confidence. And they had played a pretty good first half, except, in my opinion, the drop snap from center on the punt and the two post cuts by our offense. Otherwise, they're right in the game. The second half explosion is still to come. Stay with us as Michigan Replay continues. And uh, first down, he didn't expect us to go long and we got man coverage on the wide side of the field and the free safety sat down and we scored, obviously. I was excited because it's been a long haul for me because I got hurt earlier in the season and I'm just now starting to get back into the swing of things. So for that reason, I was uh, exceptionally happy. I got a free shot right up the middle. Um, the guy tried leg whipping me, and the center tried blocking out, and I just caught a little seam and went right up the middle. Coach Ags, our special teams um, coach, ended up in the hospital this week with heart surgery. Heart surgery, and um, you know he had worked so hard on this game, um, telling us how to how to go after their punt, and we really wanted to get one, so it, you know made it extra special that we did get one today. That's nice, he said. Yeah. Uh, Peter Heron talking about Alex Agassi. We'd like to wish Alex uh, all the best in the world. Also, coming back from surgery that he had this week, and I know he's one of your good buddies, cigar well, smoking yeah, buddies. I, I stopped in to see him just before we came down here to do the show. Told him about Dieter's block kick, and uh, he had set that up. Said we're going to get one, and sure enough, Dieter got it. Well, that was the play that really got the team going in the second half because down by 14. Illinois was still in it, and you didn't do anything with your first offensive right. possession. First, first possession, we didn't do anything, and then um, they uh, took the ball and got it out to about 35 before they were forced to punt. Dieter Heron comes up and blocks the kick. I, that's a touchdown to me, Jim, but they put the ball on the one-yard line. So <laughs> that meant you just had to get the offense back out right. there. It took you a couple offense. plays to get in. Right, and the uh, first play we didn't make it, and then we went to the option, Jim went in and scored. Jim's getting an opportunity a lot on that option because they're so concerned with the fullback, aren't they? Well, you have to stop the fullback first. Pitch is always dangerous. Probably the one guy they want to keep with the ball is the quarterback. Here they come over. Now, this Andy Moeller with a great interception. I think that's great uh, linebacker pass defense when you can get on a receiver like that and then cut in front of him and pick it off. That was a great play. We come back and run a little off-tackle play here. Jamie gets good yardage. Um, but, uh, you know, we got field position again, Jim, and which really helps. This is a reverse. Uh, Jim pitches the ball to McMurtry, comes around inside the 25-yard line for first down. Out of the wishbone, that's a good play because they're looking at option down the line. Right. They're flowing pretty well, and so that play helped us. <clears throat> Here again, this time he gives it to the fullback. Bob Perriman's been running real hard for about the last three games, Jim. He gets a lot of yardage and he's tough to handle. And that's why you've got to be concerned about the fullback first. Well, if you let him run like that, he's going to get a lot of yardage and score a lot of points. Big play here. Third, third and 11. 11 when we get the ball back and Jim goes down here to Jokic on the corner and he gets down inside the 15-yard line for a big play. That was third and long and uh, a necessary play. Thomas Wilshire runs off tackle for the touchdown. and uh, Now the game is uh, pretty much... Uh, under control, and uh, that was uh, just before the third period. Now here's one, a fake punt <laughs> or what? Tell us. Well, it's a play, and uh, <laughs> and Monty comes out, he's a good athlete, made a nice run there and picked up the first down. Because that guy on the corner was getting close to blocking kicks. Well, that might be true, Jim. <laughs> you, gotta, you run a risk when you do that. Uh, here's a great throw by Jim, wonderful catch by uh, Higgins for a first down, and uh, we're on the move again here. You changed, uh, you changed quarterbacks here early right. in the fourth uh, quarter. I took Jim out, figured he had enough now. And, uh, Chris Zerbrug in here throws uh, back over on the throwback pass. 
to Gerald White, and that gets us down into a scoring position again. On the third down and goal, run the option play, and this time Zerbrug goes in for the touchdown. And again, you're at the point where you've got a lot of people keeping the ball on the ground and giving some kids a lot of work that haven't got Well, a lot of kids got to play that haven't played for a long time, and particularly on the offense. And we're not throwing any passes or anything, but we are moving the ball pretty well. This is J.J. Green on a blitz, uh, causes a fumble, and here we are, 23-yard line again. And you're back to that, the other team really helps There's in a There's only one like way this. you're going to score. Michigan's offense cannot score 69 points. The other team has to help you a lot. And they did, and that's what happened to them. Thomas Wiltshire down inside the one, and again, you go to the wishbone. Right. Uh, Zerbrug again on the option, goes in for the uh, score. And the score, is, uh, the score goes to 69 to 13. They don't have on here Michael Taylor, uh, very fine uh, redshirt freshman quarterback, uh, engineered a drive for a touchdown and took the ball in himself. Now it's time for the Budweiser play of the game. Well, we're leading by two touchdowns. It's early in the third period. Uh, you want to break the game open. Nobody's moved the ball very well. They're forced to punt. Dieter Heron blocks the kick. We go in and get a touchdown. That puts us three touchdowns up. Really, Jim, that play cost him any chance or any hope of coming back in the second half and winning the game.